All right, what's up guys? So last week I covered API REST calls and I thought this week I would do numerical integration such as Simpsons rule and then go a little bit into the quad GK library. So if that all sounds cool to you, please give this video a like and subscribe and let's get into this. Okay, so in here you see I have the main function with three functions inside. This is what we'll be evaluating on a bound from zero to two with 10 steps. These are all going to be provided to the Simpsons function, and let's go into what's here. So the Simpsons function has, takes in four inputs, so the A and B bounds, N is the number of steps, and then DF is the function that we're providing. Now using that, it's going to take the bounds and the step count to get a step size, so that's this H value, and then it's going to get this XI0, XI1, XI2. Now these xi points are all the points of integration. So you see xi0 is the df being evaluated at a and b. So these are the, the bound points, the end points. And x1 and x2 are the on and even points when we start iterating. Okay, so this for loop is going through all the different steps and evaluating the function at that given step. Now this x point is being defined in terms of the start point, so the a, and then it's being pushed along by some factor of h. And you see we're using this i, this index point, that is determining how big the h is. So then those move x along the, the bounds. And then in this if else case, when it's even, when this i point is an even point, it will get added to the xi2 point and if it's odd, then it'll get added to xi1 point. And then finally down here, this is where we add everything together. And this is this is technically like the, the integration now. So we have h times xi0, so these are the endpoints. xi2 is the even point, so two times that. And then four times xi1, which is the odd points, all divided by three. Okay, so this step here may seem a bit abstract where there's this factor of two, this factor of four, and dividing by three. Now, if you know the trapezoidal method, it's a similar idea where because it's using a line and because of the shape of the line, I believe you're dividing by two. Now, if you didn't know, the trapezoidal method is actually using Lagrange polynomials. If you don't know a Lagrange polynomial, that's a whole other rabbit hole. It's using the, the first order, so it's using the linear case. Now, Simpson's rule is using the second order, so this is now the curve, the, the, the polynomial case. So because it has more curve to it, it has these, these factors, and you see them in the proof. So if you look into the proof, you'll, you'll see them being pulled out, but that, that is pretty much where they come from. I'm not going to go into the proof because that's a whole other thing. But the, this is Simpson's rule. So this, this whole technique allows for the steps to evaluate the function and the value it produces is the integral. And how many more steps you do makes it more accurate. So it will approach the solution. Okay, so let's test out our Simpson's rule. And now, since we're testing it out, we can test it against the quadrature. So I described the Simpson's rule and its inputs now, looking from the quad library, you can see it takes, it's a quad gk function. Now, we're also passing the function a and b point. Now, rather than a step count, they do a tolerance, which then it will be 1, e, negative 5. And we'll just compare these, these two f functions. So, you can see down below, the first one is the Simpsons rule, and it got 2.665. And you can see the quadrature from the library also got 2.665 and 66666, whatever. So this is the point of integration. And then this is the error. So you can see the error is basically zero. It's, there's, it's not there. Now, if you, let's say, I'm just printing this out right now, but because it's returning two values, if I do a, b, equals this, it's going to return those two values and do a print ln of a and print ln of b. And you can see now, now they're assigned. Okay, so for our final case, let's print everything out 
and let's just see how everything compares. Okay, so we're, this is our f function, our g function, our h function defined above. We're going to print everything out. Okay, so we have 2.66, so we know that matched up pretty well, 2.416 to 6.4, 2 6.416, 6 6.4, and 1 1.099, 1 1.098. So hopefully that helped you with knowing how to do a quadrature, maybe underneath the Simpsons rule, but also high level if you just want to use the library. There is more to the library, they have a Gaussian quadrature as well. So if you're looking to do that, it does have that inside there. I didn't really want to cover it, but the normal quadrature is usually enough for a lot of people. Now this quadrature only does one dimensional functions. If you want to do multi-dimensional, there are other libraries and actually the repository of the quadrature library describes other libraries that can do higher dimension functions. So if you need that, that will be in the repository link to the repository will be in the description. And I think that's what I have for you this week. If you like what I've been doing so far, please give this video a like and subscribe. The links to the Twitter and the IG are in the description. I'll be posting weekly announcements about the channel. If you have any requests for what libraries to cover in the future, please send them my way and I'll see you guys next week.